you know, ain't nothing wrong with actually Mary Jane. Marijuana. You know, you can give it any name that you want. You can change the lingo, the slang of it, but it still come back to one word, one name. Cannabis. Cannabis. You know, but it helps for all type of mental, body aches, you know, stress levels. You ain't never heard, and I know we all have heard you know, someone say, we ain't never made nobody kill somebody. And, you know, dealing with the mental side of it and everything else. This plant helps for the world uh, condition of mind state. Yeah, my mama died when I was three. My daddy died when I was five. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My grandpa died before before I was born. My gr I lost my grandma when I was 13. Uh -huh. Lost my uncles and aunties. So, like, when people said they was raised by the streets, so I had different family members that tried to step in and do the right thing. But at that age, when you see killing at that degree, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it really take your innocence. You know, you're no longer a child when you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you, when they say there's nothing like a mother's love mm -hmm. or there's nothing like a father's love, I don't know what neither one of them feel like. You wanna, what you wanna do is you, you need to, you need to be able to identify what you need to medicate. Okay. We have some people use it for recreation. You know, just know how much you're supposed to take in. But for with me, seizures too. I don't like medic medication, especially you know stuff that are home the body, at home other things. So this is my medication. It helps a whole lot with me staying focused and staying strong on the things I have to be strong for. Forgiveness is not for the person who did you wrong. You say for forgiveness yourself. is for yourself yeah. so you can move on. If you've been in a household where it was dominated by the parents being on drugs and you had to go out there work and feed your young cousins or siblings that's in the house to make sure they have because the the, the parents, the grown up, had a sickness. Mm -hmm. Let's get, let's let's straighten that one out. Yeah, you know, a sickness. Yeah. When they can't deal with the abuse and the mental that they dealt with as young kids, mm -hmm. and that's that generation there. You know, you got to learn to deal with self right. to move on. We live in a society that sees that bad kid and that good kid together. That bad kid is bad and on that good kid. That good kid has never been considered a good influence on that bad kid. That's real oh, talk, that's bro. The that's real I, talk, I, I, bro. That's the problem. That's real talk, bro. Nobody never said well, maybe some of that good can rub off on his little ass. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, right. maybe get him straight. Maybe hang around good people. Because see me, I always hear people say life is grand. But the fact of the matter of that is, life is the only grand of the people who have been. You got some bullshit people in your life, you gonna have a bullshit life. Right. Medicaid with respect. And Medicaid with the best. Okay. <coughs> so, <coughs> we have, <coughs> excuse me, <I'm> joking. <coughs> but that's <coughs> good, good. And that's why it's called that cheeky eye for sure. 